Good afternoon and welcome to our Meritage Homes recruiting event. Um, a, a couple of items to note on the agenda. We'll have a company overview. Following the company overview, we have an opportunity to introduce you to our core purpose, our mission, and our values. And then we'll have a construction operations overview to give you more information about the roles that are available for you to pursue at Meritage. Yeah, so welcome everybody. This is Brian Crouch. I'm the National Vice President of Operations for Meritage. I've uh, been here for uh, almost 15 years and, uh, hold on, start my video here. Been here almost 15 years and served in uh, quite a few different roles, which we'll get into here during the Q&A. Just wanna welcome everybody though. Um, Meritage is a tremendous place to work. We really appreciate everyone being here. Um, we're going to cover uh, not a ton of data today, but everything that we are going to cover is just super value add um, and really speaks to uh, the kind of company that Meritage is uh, and has grown to be. You can see some of the slides here uh, on the screen today, and we'll get into some details, but uh, we've uh, in 2020 alone, uh, we closed with 4.5 billion in uh, revenue. Uh, this year, we're going to do north of 15,000 or 13,000 closings on our way to 20,000 in the next two to three years. So uh, a lot to talk about, a lot, uh, uh, you know, a lot to go over. We really want to encourage everyone when the time's right and you're given an opportunity to ask a question, please do so. And from here, I will turn it on over to Carissa. Thank you, Ryan. I would like to start by introducing you to our executive leadership team the leaders who have devised and are driving the strategy that will allow you to have a promising career for many years at Meritage. I would also like to highlight the diversity of the major, the degree majors among this group of leaders who have made it to the top of our organization. First, we have Mr. Steve Hilton, who is our, who is our executive chairman of the Meritage Homes Board of Directors. Steve actually led Meritage Homes for 35 years as Chairman and Chief Executive Officer from 2006 until his retirement on December the 31st of 2020. In 1985, Steve co-founded Arizona-based Monterey Homes, which was a predecessor company to Meritage Homes. Under Steve's, under Steve's leadership, Meritage became publicly traded in 1997. 
Steve received a bachelor's degree in accounting from the University of Arizona. Philippe Lord is our chief executive officer. Philippe began his career at Meritage Homes in 2008 by creating the company's strategic operations and market research department, which analyzes land acquisitions, product, and pricing. He later held the role of West, West Division President and Chief Operating Officer before being promoted to CEO in January of this year. Philippe received a bachelor's degree in economics and business from Colorado State University and completed his master's coursework in economics at, at the University of Arizona. Following Philippe's promotion to CEO, Clint Savinsky became our Chief Operating Officer. Clint served as the South Region President of Meritage Homes from 2018 until 2020. Prior to this, he extended experience in the home building industry, working in senior management roles at KHOV and Cal Atlantic. From 2011 to 2014, he was the Florida Region President at Meritage Homes. Clint initially started his career at Meritage as Vice President of Land Acquisition and Entitlement in our Orlando division and briefly moved to Raleigh, North Carolina to lead the startup of our Raleigh division. Clint received his bachelor's degree in business administration and political science, as well as a law degree from Louisiana State University. Hila Safrillo also ser has served as our chief financial officer since 2016. Previously, Hila was the chief accounting officer and corporate controller of Meritage Homes from 2010 until 2015. Hila started her career at Meritage in 2006, serving in accounting, finance, and financial reporting management roles. Prior to joining Meritage, Hila worked in various leadership positions at KPMG and Starwood Hotels and Resorts worldwide. Hila received a bachelor's degree in business administration with an accounting and journalism emphasis from the University of Arizona and earned an Executive Master of Business Administration from Washington State University. Tim White has served as General Counsel of Meritage Homes since 2005. Tim served as outside legal counsel for Meritage from 1991 until 2005 before joining the Meritage team. Tim also served as a member of the Board of Directors for Meritage and Monterey Homes from 1995 until 2005. Tim received a Bachelor of Science in Accounting from the University of Arizona and a law degree from the Arizona State University College of Law. Javier Feliciano has served as Chief People Officer since 2015. Prior to joining Meritage, Javier held leadership positions at Ford Motor Company, PepsiCo, Apollo Education Group, and Vallejo. Javier received a Bachelor's degree in Criminal Justice as well as a master's degree in human resources and labor relations from Michigan State University. Meritage Homes is the seventh largest home builder in the United States operating in 18 markets across nine states. We've been in business for 35 years and we have closed more than 135,000 homes. Meritage is a mid-cap public company that was recognized by Forbes as one of America's best mid-sized companies in 2021 based on financial growth metrics and stock price appreciation in 2020. As you can see, Meritage has divisions in what we refer to as the smile of the country. We are in the lower quadrant of the U.S. with divisions from west to east coast. Meritage originated in Phoenix, later expanding within the state to Tucson. Then we launched into Texas, California, and Orlando, Florida markets through the 90s, through the late 90s and early 2000s. In 2011, we launched our South region in Raleigh, and most recently this year, we launched our coastal division, which represents the Myrtle Beach and Charleston, South Carolina markets. Meritage has a very distinct, intentional, and exclusive focus that includes two product lines, Live Now for entry-level buyers and Studio M for first-time move-up buyers. Buyers who purchase a Meritage home can expect an affordable product with quality construction that offers surprisingly more. 
our entry level product is not the basic no frills entry level home. We offer the M Connected Home Automation Suite, energy efficiency features that create a more enjoyable and healthier living for our home buyers. And all this is accomplished through a simplified and streamlined approach that benefits our customers, our employees, and our trade partners. Additionally, we offer a virtual home buying experience for those who do not live in the market where they are purchasing or for those who simply prefer the convenience of a virtual world. Meritage is a leader in energy efficiency. And as you can see, is the recipient of countless multi-year awards and recognitions based on our energy efficiency features in our homes. Our easy equals right simplification strategy was created in 2007, our, our 2017. Our streamlined product creates a simpler process for our buyers and has created greater ease and predictability for our trade partners and employees, making Meritage a builder and an employer of choice. Our strategy has also allowed us to drive down costs to remain affordable, propelled us, as Brian said, to a $4.5 billion company in 2020 with revenues that will exceed this in 2021. And Meritage, it is also about giving back to the community. One essential part of who we are is the Meritage Cares Foundation. Since its inception, Meritage Cares has donated over $3.5 million, always being responsive to the needs of our local communities where we build, live, and work, and ensuring diversity in our giving efforts. Meritage Cares has donated to organizations that assist those most severely impacted by COVID-19, is supporting racial equity and inclusion through gifts to the United Negro College Fund, and in roles, and is currently preparing to make contributions to support the refugee community. So now we have a quick video. Let's take a look inside the offices of Meritage Homes and give you a little taste of what it is to be an employee in our organization. If you're interested in making a difference in people's lives, and looking for a career that provides the opportunity for growth, collaboration, and fun, working for an industry leader, one in which has a strong foundational core value proposition, then Meritage Homes would be a great opportunity for you to consider. I can think of many different individuals that have mentored me over my career here at Meritage and made sure that I had opportunities to grow with the company. I started with this company seven years ago and I have been growing ever since. Everything that I have learned, it's not limited just to the world of sales. My partner and I work closely together. We are very competitive. We both have that play to win attitude. The competitive floor really works. We work together as a team. I work closely with our construction managers. We make sure that our customers taken care of. Our Live Now program is a program that allows customers to basically have a move-in ready home. Everything's ready to go. Everything's pre-selected. This program also streamlines the construction process as well for our construction team in the field. Everybody's excited from our trade partners to our construction managers to fellow employees. It's about making things easier, more streamlined, more efficient. We are the industry leader in energy efficiency, comfort, and healthy living. But in addition to that, it's also about the process and the experience. Um, we have a saying around here that easy equals right. Our objective is to make the home buying process, which can be very, very stressful, easy, affordable, transparent, and of a high quality nature. Not everybody is meant to work for Meritage Homes. We have very high standards. While we're a very, very diverse organization, and that's one of our great strengths, our core values help buy in the organization. We hire people that have unique talents and abilities to execute at a very high level. What we're asking them to do is to fulfill their role, while at the same time share the same core values that we do as an organization. As an organization, we're basically as good as our people are. What I'm most excited about are the people we keep bringing in the organization and the process that we have to help people achieve their professional as well as personal best. Hope you enjoyed that video. Um, as you can see at Meritage, we are committed to building a strong culture, to building strong teams and winning teams. And we know that that is accomplished through having an inclusive and diverse culture. 
What you can also expect from your career at Meritage is to receive competitive compensation and competitive benefits. You have the opportunity to grow as a professional and participate in the robust talent development programs that we offer. You will also receive, you can also receive tuition reimbursement if you decide to pursue additional degrees while employed at Meritage. So I would like to introduce, we're gonna go over our core purpose, mission and values. And as you can see here, we have our core purpose. But first I'd like to, for you take a look at the top. Meritage equals merit plus heritage. Meritage is commonly mispronounced as meritage. The genesis of our name is the combination of merit and heritage, which is meritage. And our core purpose, and meritage, our, it is our core purpose to enrich lives by building the American dream. In America, everyone can attain their own version of success and achieve upward mobility. This is the American dream. For many, success is achieved and defined in large part as home ownership. We have the great fortune of working in an industry and for an organization that helps people achieve this dream and enrich their lives on a daily basis. In our mission, the line that always resonates with me the most is an environment of growth, collaboration, and fun. Yes, we deliver an unmatched customer experience and high quality homes. Yes, we deliver an innovative product with enduring value. What is also important is how we do it. And we do it through an environment of growth, collaboration, and fun. Our mission is as much about the employee experience and culture of the organization as it is about the product and the customer. And that is how we deliver our brand promise, which is a life built better. A life built better continues to be our true north and guides our decision-making at every level of the organization. In 2017, when we launched a new set of core values that align with our brand promise of a life built better, those core values were designed to be simple and memorable. And as a matter of fact, I would bet on any of our employees being able to recite our six core values. Our core values, which got our actions and decisions are start with heart, integrity above all else, develop to empower, think strategically, build value and play to win. They guide and govern our relationships, business processes, and drive the reasons behind why we do business the way we do. They are our foundation. They inspire our work and define the way we interact with each other, our trade partners, and our customers. Another major focus has been enhancing our culture of responsiveness. As it's, we took this pledge as a team together in 2017 at the same time that we rolled out our core values. And for the last several years, our CEO has been sending out weekly emails recognizing team members from around the country who have been nominated by their leaders and peers in recognition for demonstrating our core values and or responsiveness every day. As an employee at Meritage, you can expect a response within 24 hours and you can expect that individuals are operating with the core values in mind and allowing those values to guide our decision making. Now I'll turn it over to Brian who will discuss more about opportunities in construction. Thank you, Carissa. Great job. Um, really appreciate all that insight. That, uh, that was a great overview and well articulated. So, like I said in the very beginning, Brian Crouch, uh, National VP of Construction uh, at Meritage office here in, at our corporate office in Scottsdale. And again, welcome to everyone that is looking for a great career. Uh, you're at the right spot here and you're on the right call. So, uh, slide 20, which is the next slide, uh, talks about career opportunities. And this, this slide is, uh, is a powerful slide because uh, it really illustrates the options and uh, the future that you can create for yourself 
here at Meritage. Um, I started at Meritage Home, excuse me, at a home builder in 2002. So it's been 19 years uh, as that very bottom uh, block there as an assistant construction manager. And that was my title. And um, from there, uh, I ended, I've ended up in this position. It took about 15 years and a lot of, uh, a lot of hard work, I guess, and uh, a lot of really solid people above me to support me. Uh, but I've held every one of those jobs that you see right there on the screen from assistant construction manager, which entails, um, you know, learning the ropes on how a home is put together, how a home is scheduled, uh, you know, your first interactions with homeowners, subcontractors, a lot of training on scheduling um, and just how to build a home in general. And then as you as you start to get better and uh, you move up and you can take more and more on. Um, the next promotion is construction manager, which is also called a superintendent. So I've been a superintendent. We have three levels of those here. Project manager, which is a superintendent that's picked up an additional responsibility, uh, like maybe uh, one or two direct reports in another community. Uh, then area construction manager, which is a pretty big jump from construction manager and area manager is someone that oversees multiple communities, multiple uh, construction managers, lot, you know, lots of responsibility there uh, for your area within the division, and then director, and then VP. So uh, what's, what's really good about home building, and especially at Meritage, is that doesn't have to be your path. Um, that's just a traditional career progression if you start in construction or if you start in sales. But over on the right, there's this, um, this lattice that shows uh, the different disciplines that you can move into. Purchasing, also known as procurement, sales, customer care, land development, all of those. There's finance, there's accounting, there's people operations. Um, one of the great things about starting your career early with a company like Meritage is you're not you're not uh, pigeonholed into one job for the rest of your life. Uh, you may get into construction and realize you like sales. And I, can't, I can count dozens and dozens of people that have gone from construction to sales, sales to construction, land to uh, construction. Um, just about everyone in the company, uh, at some time or the other, if you start in operations, you dabble at some point in another discipline. And it's, it's very, it's encouraged. Uh, let me just say that one of the best superintendents I ever had, a guy named Patrick, uh, he was in San Antonio, super polished individual, great construction manager, um, made it to area manager, but one day he decided he wanted to be in sales. Um, and with all of the construction background that he had propelled him into, I mean, he went into sales and he ended up being one of the top salespeople in that division, which had about 55 salespeople in it at the time because of his construction background. So he was a very successful construction manager, went into sales, leaned on that, uh, that construction background. He knew all the lingo, all the terms. He could make buyers feel at ease. Um, and to this day, he's the VP of sales for a large builder there in San Antonio. So the opportunities are really endless, or at least the combination of uh, opp opportunities are endless. Um, and when it comes to just building a house in general, we're going to get into it in the next slide. But when you're involved in home building, you feel like you're part of something. You feel like uh, when you go to work every day, you've got purpose. Uh, one of our, uh, uh, I'm going to say slogan, but taglines of Meritage a long time ago, and it's still around today, but was enriching lives by building the American dream. So when you can find a discipline or a career that allows you to deliver someone a product uh, the largest investment of their life, which is what we're going to talk about right now, then you've made a really good career choice and you're going to be able to get something out of that. So um, let's talk about it now with responsibilities. It's a big, big deal to oversee the construction of someone's home, as you might imagine. Um, for I forgot the statistic, but I think for 97 or 98 percent of the population in this country, a new home will be the largest investment of their life largest single investment of their life. So um, you're in control of that. And with an average sales price of 400 grand, if you've got 
uh, you know, 20 homes under construction, you're managing, uh, what, $8 million worth of, uh, worth of overhead. So it's a big deal. Uh, it's a really, really big deal. And it's, it's something that, that uh, is very fulfilling. So you will actually take the home uh, from what we call dirt, which is just the lot, and you will, you will be taught and trained on how to take that house to what we call stage eight, which is completion. So dirt or stage zero all the way to stage eight, which is completion. You will become a home builder. Uh, I can't put it in any better terms than that. Along the way, you're not just going to learn to build a house, but you're going to learn to interact with homeowners. You're going to learn to, you know, comfort them through their journey of uh, what is usually can be very nerve wracking, very stressful part of their life. I mean, when you sign up and commit to buying a new home, I remember my wife and I did we bought a new house. It was $155,000 and I was absolutely terrified um, when I was at the closing table. Um, it, it, now you can't get a house for under 255 or even 355 really. But uh, the point is uh, it's a really big deal and it's a big responsibility and a very gratifying job to have. Um, not only walking the buyer through the journey of the home, but making sure the quality of their house is what it's supposed to be. You'll be taught what our quality standards are. You'll be taught what our innovation standards are. You'll be taught what to look for on the finish out on the home. We call it fit and finish. Um, from just plain old cleanliness, because these homes get dirty during the process, to things that are actually installed incorrectly. You want to deliver the buyer um, the most perfect home that you can. Uh, and when they move in, every time you see them after that, uh, you'll have, you know, you'll be able to take a lot of pride in what you did. I still have people to this day that I built homes for 15 years ago, 16 plus years ago that I'm friends with. Uh, they'll shoot me a text every once in a while or just check in or send me a picture of the house. And to be honest, it, it's, it's probably one of the best parts of the job. Uh, of course, I am a construction guy by heart, so I'm a little bit biased, but when you're the individual out there, boots on the ground, uh, you know, guiding someone through what can be a very stressful time and a large investment for them, and you deliver them a, a really, really nice home, you've kind of changed their life. So uh, it's, just, it's just a very fulfilling and rewarding job. So when we talk about, you know, I would say the what it takes to, to be a winning construction manager. There's specific personality traits and profile that definitely um, fit the mold. I will say that, uh, you know, obviously some are just more successful than others, but a lot of times it comes down um, just to your drive and whether or not you feel like you're where you want to be and you're getting gratification from your job. So Meritage, we all do, a, as much work as we can, especially the people operations leaders that are on this call, to make our culture uh, one where people of different profiles, different personalities, different backgrounds aren't just welcome, but can also be successful. Uh, we're not looking for the same old uh, construction manager profile that was successful 20 years ago. We're looking for new ones, different ones, different backgrounds, different perspectives, um, just people that grew up in a different way and see things differently. More than anything, we're looking for people that want to win in their career and want to win for their buyer um, or their homeowner. The homeowner is first um, for obvious reasons, but uh, that, that's the number one trait is just that desire and that drive to make a career for yourself and to say, okay, this is my job. I've signed up. I'm going to do it as, to the best of my abilities uh, and I'm going to put myself second and my customer first. And when we do that, amazing things happen. So um, obviously, strong customer service skills uh, are important. If you're a person that just is, you know, super and maybe introverted and you don't like to interact with people at all, not even subcontractors, may or may not be a challenge for you, although you'd be surprised. We have, uh, we have some individuals that didn't think they were going to be good CMs, gave it a chance and absolutely loved it and crushed it. Um, being relentless in the pursuit of excellence, and we never settle on a house. We never deliver a buyer a house that's not complete. Uh, there's no such thing as a perfect home. Uh, 
there are times when it's really, really difficult to get the last 2% of that house completed, which the hardest part of a home is the last 2%. It always has been. It's the detailed. It's the part that the trades aren't really that good at. So um, just that relentless pursuit of excellence is very, very important. And then problem uh, and conflict resolution skills. I can't uh, express the importance of this. Uh, you can often find yourself in situations uh, that can be difficult with homeowners or with subcontractors that said they were going to do something and they did it. It's part of the job that I always really enjoyed. Uh, I don't know how good I was at it, but I enjoyed it because uh, what makes it, it's what makes it kind of fun. It's certainly not a desk job. Um, it's certainly not an office job. You have an office, but most of your time is, is spent out in the homes, interacting uh, scheduling, building relationships, overcoming problems, um, overcoming customer concerns uh, to, to deliver the home for the buyer and for the company, and then ultimately for yourself. Uh, and then a team environment. We are huge on team. We're huge on culture at this company. Um, I can say that uh, unequivocally. We are, our people are, are our greatest asset. And uh, I, there's nothing I value more in this company than our employees because they are uh, the life of the company. And without them, we are nothing, especially, again, I'm biased because I'm from the field, but uh, field employees are always have a soft spot in my heart because they're out there, you know, somewhat in the elements, getting things done and generating revenue for the company. But if you're looking, if you're looking to be part of a team and have fun, I think, uh, you know, you get into home building early. Uh, it doesn't matter when you get in on in your career, but if you get on it early, especially right out of school, uh, you know, you end up making new friends. You end up uh, not just coming to work with people you know, but coming to work with people that are your friends. Uh, and you're having a blast. You're out in the field. You know, you're grabbing lunch every day. You're back in the field. There's no true, true hours because you're just, you're there during the day when the trades are there uh, getting things done. But it's a team environment uh, and it's a very collaborative environment. So the last two, um, I would say this, the second to last bullet point is you could argue is one of the most effective uh, and important profile factors or traits for a construction manager. And that is being proactive. If you've ever met, if you've ever read Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, uh, I read it 20 years ago, but it's still around. It's still worth reading. It's a short book. Uh, his number one habit of all the uh, hundreds of millionaires that he interviewed for the book, his number one habit was they were all proactive. And it's no different in home building. You have to be very self-motivated, very driven, very proactive, looking well, not what's happening today or tomorrow, but what's happening in two weeks right now. We're going through our budget process for 2022. We're looking at how many homes we have to build you know, a year from now. And we're trying to get staffed up for that. It's the exact same thing in the field. You're looking at what your what houses you're building today, what's supposed to happen to them tomorrow, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, get closer to closing, scheduling all that out. So people that are very proactive um, and very self-motivated do really, really well in this business and technical skills. This is a good one to talk about because you don't really need them to hire on. Matter of fact, we prefer hiring a lot of people without experience in home building, we will teach you the technical skills. We'll teach you the difference between a two by six and a two by eight and a finger joint stud and a southern yellow pine stud. We'll teach you the difference between a monolithic steel uh, post-tension foundation and your historical rebar. Um, we will teach you all of those things. The difference between vinyl and aluminum windows, spray foam insulation and, and uh, traditional cellulose. The technical side should not scare anybody off because it's actually preferred that it's not there. If you do have some technical uh, home building experience, that's just great. I mean, that's great. That's icing on the cake, but uh, it's certainly not a prerequisite, but people that are eager to learn the technical side is a, is a definite trait that we're looking for as well. So next slide, please. You can see here on the map, we're located, uh, you know, coast to coast from California, um, two big divisions there with an offshoot there in NorCal, um, Tucson, Phoenix, huge business in Arizona, uh, over 2,000 closings a year just in Arizona. 
really solid business in Denver. Uh, and then of course, we're in the big four uh, markets in Texas. Texas is our largest uh, region from uh, units and revenue perspective, Austin, San Antonio, Houston, Dallas. Uh, obviously it's a really big state, lots of room to grow. And uh, you know, it allows us to do some things there where we can't in other markets because we're a little bit locked in. Uh, Nashville, Tennessee, great market for us. We're doing really well there. We're uh, all over Florida, as you see, just another tremendous market. Uh, and then coastal Carolinas up there in um, nor uh, Northern Carolina, North Carolina, South Carolina, Greenville, Charlotte, Raleigh, and then of course, Atlanta, Georgia. And we've recently announced an expansion into Myrtle Beach and Charleston, which uh, we're setting forms on our first houses in February or March of Q1. So the company's growing just about wherever you want to live in the, we call them the smile states. If you draw a line from California down through Texas up in the Carolinas, that's the Sun Belt or the smile states. Uh, people like to live there because it's warm. And so that's where most builders uh, kind of set up shop. But if you're look, if you're interested in a job in any of these states, I saw someone on the, on the, uh, Q&A session of the chat, ask about um, if there would be an internship opening. Uh, and I, I believe it was one of the California markets for the summer. I can tell you the answer to that will be definitely. Um, so again, any of these states, you definitely just want to reach back out to uh, way up or um, anyone on our people operations teams uh, if they interest you. So next slide, please. This is, uh, again, this is way up. This is how you would apply these. This is who you would, um, who you would contact the web addresses here at the bottom. There's employee testimonials. For those of you that are interested, you would click this link here and of course ask any more questions on this call. Um, and you would you will apply directly online. So uh, I'm, I'm just going to assume that you would copy and paste or click on that link and you would follow uh, uh, you would follow the signs or follow whatever it is that's guiding you into Meritage Homes up here in the top left hand side whether it's construction intern, summer, you can see right there, Greenwood, uh, Colorado, West Palm, Florida, Colorado, there's a bunch of them there, I'm sure. And they'll only be more and more populated as we get closer to spring. Um, but that's how uh, you, if you're interested in this at all, which we really hope you are, um, this, is, this is the path you will follow to, uh, to get it. So I will pass it over to Carissa, who's going to, I believe, moderate our um, live Q&A. Carissa. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Um, so, yes, as we transition, we're going to move into our Q&A. We have some team members who've joined us today, and I'd like to ask for them to go ahead and come on video. We have Alex, Laura, and Darren who joined us, who are employees with Meritage, who are going to share their experience with you today. Um, so what I'll do is... As I ask you a question, if you can first just start off by sharing your role, location, tenure, share a little bit about your career story and also why you chose to pursue a career in construction. So let's start with Alex. Alex, um, what is the most rewarding part of an average day working in construction or in construction or in a construction project management um, role at Meritage Homes? Yeah, so my name is Alex. I'm production manager from for Southern California Division. Uh, I've been with the company for six years. Uh, I started off as an assistant out in the field, and I got hired on when I was working to a third party company, sweeping uh, sweeping streets, uh, sweeping the houses. And I asked one of the superintendents what their role was. I was interested. My family came from construction, but I never imagined. I would go into construction. And when I asked him, he started teaching me the ropes and about a year and a half later, with no construction uh, experience on the whole building side, um, I started off as an assistant. So after that, I transitioned and it's been like that uh, for several years. Now I'm in the office, so it's been a great opportunity. Now, the most rewarding part of Navarche is, for me, it's the problem solving. Uh, right now in this day and age, when it comes to material issues, when it comes to uh, schedules, forecasts, it's, that's the most rewarding part of me. Uh, that's the most rewarding part for me because of the problem solving and the culture here uh, with Meritage Homes in our SoCal division. Thank you very much. 
Okay, Laura, I am going to turn it over to you. You can also share those details about yourself and your career selection and your background. And then after that, my question for you is, um, for those who are trying to make a career change with limited experience in the, in the field, what would be the best advice for entering a company like Meritage Homes? Okay. Well, I started with this company in 2001, and I was going to night school. I was about uh, 20 years old, somewhere around there. And uh, I really thought I was going to get into medicine. And ironically, I just kind of stumbled into a job with the trades. I went to work in an office for a drywall contractor. And in that position, I was able to spend some time in the field, um, delivering materials to the field uh, personnel and meeting with the construction managers. And at some point I thought, wow, this is going to be a really interesting opportunity. But I was very young, didn't have any experience. And I talked to one of the construction managers that I dealt with and asked him if it was something that he thought that maybe I could do. And he said, absolutely. Um, it's more of a management position than actually physically building the home. So at a young age, I applied for the position and I was hired as an assistant. I worked as an assistant for about four years in the Sacramento market and was promoted to construction manager. And then in uh, the downturn, I did leave the company for about a year and a half. I got an opportunity out of state. My husband being a hunter, he wanted to leave California. And um, long story short, that didn't work out and Meritage invited me back. So I came back in 2013. And um, a few years later, I was able to be promoted to the area construction manager. Now I'm running nine communities and 17 direct reports and I'm excited about you know, being able to move up in this company. So that's kind of a little bit of a background for me. I went from very much a green bean to now being here of about 20 years. So uh, to answer your question about what advice I would give to people who are looking to get into the industry, like I mentioned, it's, it's more of a management position and you can be taught about the sticks and the bricks, but it's really about being tenacious and being driven and self-motivated and wanting to get out there and actually do something. The pride that we get from building homes and looking at communities that we've built, you know, years ago and knowing that we built those for a particular family and they're still there raising their children in homes or retiring in homes is really fulfilling. So if you can, um, if you're tenacious, if you have the personality that's a go-getter, that's willing to work, work very hard uh, to get what you want, uh, I think you could be very successful in this career. Thank you, Laura. Such amazing Stop story more. from uh, you and Alex. So thank you for sharing that career progression and how your mindset shifted over time from where you started thinking you wanted to, you know, go with your career to where you ended up. Um, so now, Darren, we're going to turn it over to you, if you can share those details about yourself as well. And then my question for you is, what are the daily responsibilities of a construction project manager? Just break it down for us. What does it really look like day to day in the role? Good afternoon, everyone. As she mentioned, my name is Darren McLaughlin. and I'm an area construction manager in the Dallas Fort Worth Division. And I've been with Meritage about six years. Uh, initially, after graduating college, I uh, joined the military. Um, of course, my degree was in criminal justice, so I joined the military. And during my tenure in the United States Army, I had a chance to experience a couple different things, which were my development of interest in project management kind of came about. So after exiting the military, I ultimately was hired with Meritage as an assistant construction manager, where I continually to personally develop uh, my education in, into project management and throughout different experiences and management of, you know, whether it was simple or complex projects, uh, simple or complex home, I was able to work and progress my way to my current position um, as an area construction manager. Um, but initially coming out of the military, I, of course, project management is a very broad uh, uh, career field. So I had to kind of narrow it down into a specific area of what I was really interested in. And I joined construction for a few different reasons. Um, just based on the knowledge and skill set that I knew I had, I knew that the construction industry offered a variety of different opportunities um, within the industry that would allow me to utilize my knowledge and skill sets, you know, to their fullest of potential. And then also, it's an, also an industry where really the sky is the limit. Um, and as, as Mr. Crouch kind of touched on earlier, if you're an individual who likes to win and wants to be the best, this is one of the most rewarding 
uh, you know, career opportunities that you can find out there on the market. Um, you know, it's, it's really a good feeling to be able to take something from the ground up, um, you know, for a family and have that sense of accomplishment uh, once that is done. And, and as you know, and what we kind of touched on earlier, many of our most highest ranking and most recognized uh, construction professionals all started uh, at an entry level position and work their way up in progress throughout the, uh, the different companies or the industry. So uh, I think it's a great industry to begin in um, with experience or without experience. And I think that it's one that uh, you will find very accomplishing as well. Now, as far as the day to day from a construction manager uh, perspective, so we are in directly involved in the oversight, supervision, and scheduling of all construction aspects of building a home. Um, and that's gonna involve collaborating with trades, it's gonna be involved in collaborating with different vendors uh, and other departments uh, you know, of the division. So there's gonna be a lot of meeting, uh, teamwork, uh, and scheduling that's gonna be involved uh, on a day-to-day. -day. Now, while you may not be directly involved with creating the budget, you are going to be completely involved in controlling the variance budget, which is going to be any cost, you know, that's going to result outside of your original budget. Um, and as you know, of course, as we build homes, customer service and interaction is going to be very, very key, uh, of course, to our business. So it's going to involve a lot of meeting with buyers, meeting with customers, um, setting expectations uh, and ensuring that overall the customer is pleased with their product. It meets our quality standard, and we do that all within budget and our timeline that we've established. Thank you, Darren. I'm loving all these stories because uh, my particular role is in the South and Florida region, so I'm having the opportunity to get to know these team members at Meritage along with each of you, and they just have amazing stories that they've shared with us. So thank, thank you to each of you for sharing uh, your stories and your experiences and asking those initial questions. We did have a question come in live from the Q&A. Um, and the question is, what's the greatest challenge you faced in your role and how did you overcome it? Uh, I can speak, um, you know, challenges. There's a lot of challenges. The greatest challenge um, for me right now, I think in the role of an area construction manager is probably managing the supply chain challenges that we have right now, uh, both labor and material and supporting our team so that they feel that you know when their hands are tied that they have people behind them that are coming in to step in and assist so that they're not left just you know trying to trying to work on their own but it is a challenge i mean there were times when we were able to pick up the phone and call somebody that we've known for 15 20 years and you know we know how the system works and we can pull a few strings to get what we need and right now those challenges are pretty significant and those calls are more challenging to make. We don't get what we need quite as easily as we used to. Um, so for me, I think right now that's one of the biggest challenges, but I still feel that um, just being supportive to the team and knowing that not only, you know, I'm supporting my team, but I have the entire support of not only the division, but the company in general behind us to make sure that things get taken care of. Thank you, Lars. So we'll make sure we add agility and fortitude to that list of uh, qualifications for the role. So, um, Brian, I want to turn it over to you. I know you've spoken quite a bit to the group, but, you know, share a little bit about your background as well. And also, the question that, we, that I have for you today is, what are the current goals of the company? And based on those goals, how does this team, our construction project team, um, work um, to support hitting those goals of the organization? Good question. Sure. Uh, so, I've already stated it, but um, I started uh, with another home builder. I've only worked with two home builders in my career. Well, I'll back up to the beginning. When I was a sophomore in high school, my best friend's dad has a had a custom building company. They hired me on as a framer when I was 15, or a framer. Really what that meant was I got to pick up trash for an entire summer um, and did a bunch of other uh, things at that level. And then uh, anyway, I went to work for a publicly held builder as a superintendent in 2002 and came to Meritage 15 years ago. And so I've held up just about every job in construction and purchasing that you could have from assistant to CM to project manager, production manager, director, VP, regional and national. So 
I've uh, been very lucky along the way uh, to have worked alongside a lot of really great people. But I tell you, before I get into your question, uh, people like uh, Alex, Darren, Laura that are on this call, uh, I've had a lot of those people underneath me over the years. And, and you can't be successful without them and, them and really good people underneath you winning for you. You don't take credit for it, but it's all because of your people. So uh, uh, I've been lucky to have some to work with some great people and end up in this chair that I don't deserve. Um, as far as what we're focused on, good question. I think I can answer pretty quick. Two things. Uh, number one, culture. I think uh, the company is focused right now on making sure that Meritage is industry leading uh, culture period in the discussion. Uh, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, whatever part of the culture wheel you want to talk about, uh, we're committed to all of them. And we're, uh, you know, we're, we don't just have a, a few toes dabbled in the pool. We, we did a cannonball into the culture pool and we're swimming around in it right now. And we're committed to making sure that, uh, that it's industry leading. So uh, really looking to hire people with different perspectives, like I let off with, uh, and just build this thing up. Um, better than it is today, which is hard to do because it's a great culture now, but it can definitely go, go, uh, go higher. And then um, the second thing I would say is growth. Uh, we are, uh, we're, we haven't been secretive at all uh, on our, on our growth and our desire to grow. We're a little over 13,000 closings this year. We're going to forecast, uh, we've already told the street, but we're going to forecast north of 15 K for next year. And then our ultimate goal is over 20,000. So uh, our goal is to be the number four, number five biggest home builder in the United States of America. And um, uh, I, we're definitely, I don't think we're going to get there. We're definitely going to get there with more and more solid people coming on every day, um, like Alex, like Laura, like Darren. Um, that's what we're looking for to take us to 20K. So culture and growth. Thank you, Brian. So I'm going to try to go around the horn one more time. We have five minutes left um, before we hit five o'clock. If there are any additional questions, please drop them in the Q&A. Um, some are being answered there directly. If you, you may want to take a look and I'll ask any other questions we don't ask, uh, answer in the q and I'll ask those live to our panelists. So Alex, one additional question for you. What type of training and onboarding is offered to new employees at Meritage? Yeah, so the, the training and onboarding uh, here at Meritage, we have uh, it's called laying the foundation. It's a 90 day program where you meet with managers, uh, other departments, discuss what your role entails, what their role entails, how you could help them achieve uh, their goals and how they could help you achieve your own goals. Um, you also in the construction project management, you're also out in the field with whether it's our area managers, our CMs, our assistants, and our, our VPs. So you're learning the construction stages from stage zero to eight. <laughs> Uh, the eight is one of the most important ones. That's when the home gets completed. Uh, and then also our degree learning. Our degree learning, I mean, that's a system that we have in case you want to learn about any of our applications, how to use them. Uh, if you want to know a little bit about construction management uh, so and leadership training. So those are the ones that we have here for onboarding uh, and training for, for our division. Thank you, Alex. Um, so, Laura, one, one additional question for you. Uh, I said earlier that Meritage is the seventh largest public home builder. So, a lot of others to choose from. Why did you choose Meritage? Well, I picked Meritage, I think at the time, um, you know, I was, I was able to get connected with somebody who had connections and said it was a great company to work with before. Back in 2001, Meritage wasn't a very large company. It was relatively new to the area. And um, so I, I got on with Meritage just based off of availability and, and getting in with somebody who was recommended from another person that I knew. However, knowing what I know now and being here as long as I have, I can without hesitating say that this culture that we have here is absolutely fantastic. Um, it feels good to work here. It's a positive environment. It's a welcoming environment. Um, you know, every... Uh, you know, we talked about the core values and being recognized. And so on a national level, people are recognized for the good things that they do on a division level. 
And it, it just, it feels really good to be part of a team where you're recognized for the hard work that you do. And so, you know, 20 years ago, I didn't know a whole lot, but I, I left the company and I came back for those reasons. I really, really enjoyed working here and the, uh, the upper management and, um, you know, everything that we have for the culture. Thank you. The fact that you returned after your departure certainly speaks to your confidence in the company and confidence in the culture. So thank you for that. Darren, uh, we have a question that came in from the Q&A that I'd like to ask you to answer. Um, seeing that you've continued to have success and progress in your career here at Meritage, can you share with us what are the top performing construction project managers doing to make them successful? Well, I think as a construction manager, I think our number one priority should always be communication. Communication is really the basic and foundation of, of what we do as CM. So having a good sense of communication with, whether it be with a vendor or a trade, uh, a customer or a different department, that's gonna be critical in you know, being successful uh, with, within your role. I also think organization is gonna be incredibly important as well. As a, as a CM, there are gonna be times where you're gonna manage multiple, you know, mo uh, a, a large volume of, of homes, uh, obviously, they're, they're going to be different in complexity at times. Uh, so it's going to be incredibly important that you stay organized and being able to manage those and being able to stay on top of where each one of those homes are and the status of, you know, maybe some issues or problems that you're going to be running into, uh, you know, throughout the build times of those. So I think that's going to be important. And also learning to use the software that uh, we've implemented as a, as a company. Our management software is incredibly important. Um, in terms of scheduling, uh, paying vendors, uh, finding out any information that's needed uh, in order for you to put that home put that home together correctly. Uh, so I think that's another pillar uh, that you're going to really want to focus on um, early in your career to ensure that you're successful later on. Thank you, thank you. So we are at time. Um, if there are any additional questions, drop them. Um, in the chat, let's do just a quick lightning round. And as these students, you know, consider careers, consider a career at Meritage, let's just go around. What is that one word? When you think of one word uh, related to Meritage, your experience in a career at Meritage, what is that one word for you? So I'm going to go around to our panelists and just give them something, um, a lasting thought um, and something to stick with them as we conclude this presentation today. So Brian, I'll start with you. One word. I would say loyalty. loyalty. I would say the company is very, very loyal to its employees that are loyal back. Um, however that goes first, is it the chicken or the egg? I don't know, but I think, I think ultimately um, what really, what really uh, helps Meritage uh, stand out and sticks out. And I know this firsthand because I, you know, it's been 15 years, but I've been at other builders and I know a lot of people at other builders uh, and just big companies in general, you're just a number uh, when you get to a certain size, but you're, you know, our employees are not numbers here. I, we have 350 something superintendents. I go see all of them at least once a year. I try to get out there to see them all once a year. Um, and I can tell you that the Darren's, the Laura's and the Alex's are just as valued as uh, the Clint Sabinskis and the Philippe Lords uh, in the C-suite uh, at this place. And so uh, I, I'm super loyal, our executive team's super loyal and that culture just permeates down. And that's why we have you know, people that come back and people that stay for a long time. Thank you. Darren, coming to you next. I know this may be two words, but I'm gonna say employee oriented. I think the culture that we build here at uh, Marriage is, is really second to none. Um, even coming up as a, as a young CM, um, there were immense opportunities for, for me to grow and develop. Um, and and Marriage has placed that at the forefront of what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. So uh, it's, a, it's a great opportunity for new employees and, and even people that, that, that have been here to continue training to allow to reach your full potential. Thank you. That's hyphenated. We'll count this one. <laughs> All right, Laura, what can you share with us? Um, my one word would probably be success. Um, I've been here a really long time, and 
Meritage has offered me an opportunity to be successful and they've supported me to be successful. I think the, the entire company has been successful. Even through the downturn, they use very creative, innovative ways to reinvent what the company was doing to ensure success. And for me, that's what it feels like here. Thank you, Laura. Alex, bring us home. Uh, for me, it would be empowering. I think uh, the company and the leaders in this company uh, are very empowering, uh, whether you're an assistant, whether you're a director level or a leader level. Like for us, for at least for me, it's always felt since I've been here that they empower you to take the lead on certain things. Uh, they make you feel like you have a purpose and they listen and the leadership team just really hears you out. So for me, it would be empowering. Thank you very much. Thank you to all of our panelists today. Thank you to our participants. Um, if you have additional questions, um, feel free to reach out to us. Please apply through Way Up. We would love to have you for an, either an entry level role or an internship. We offer internships fall, spring, and summer um, to suit the needs of various students. We would love for you to join our organization. As Brian shared, um, we're going to be over 13,000 this year, 15,000 the next year, and we're going to 20,000. So if you want to be with a winning team, a strong culture that truly appreciates you as an individual and a growing organization, marriage is certainly the place for you. Thank you again, and we look forward to you joining our team.